Well, there's something to eat, so I mean, I'm, hopefully they won't mind. No, I need to go and speak to the miller. I think I owe him a lot of money, to say the least. Uh, where is he? Oh, he's not up here. I thought I saw him come up here. Where is he? Where, where is he? Come below. Okay. 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 Is that him over there? Ah. Hey, youngster. Come here. Hello. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks. Thanks for taking care of me. My name's Henry. Thank you for taking care of me here. My name's Peshek, and I'm the miller here. You've already met my niece, Teresa. She took care of you for two whole weeks while you were in limbo. Wow. And talking of you being at death's door. While you were lying here, you worked up quite a bill with the blood letter. Who came now and again to keep you alive with his potions? That quack doesn't come cheap. I paid him what I could, but I still, that is, you still owe him. I see. Well, it's better to be in debt than to lie dead in a ditch. What do I owe? I'm not afraid of hard work. You won't pay for that shoveling manure. I might have a better job for you. But it's not something any fool can do. If you prove to me you're a clever lad, I might trust you with something you could really make money from. What do you say? Um, yeah, yeah, tell me. Just tell me what, uh, what needs doing. Well, what would you need from me? A trifle. Just to take something from someone and bring it to someone else. And not get caught while you're doing it. That sounds no. straightforward enough. Except for not get caught. Why would anyone want to catch me? Oh, don't worry. It's just a job like any other. Only this one requires, uh, let's say, the right moral disposition. Do corpses bother you? No honourable man should touch them. That's the executioner's job. Did you expect I'd give you a hoe and send you out to the fields? You can dig all right, but somewhere else. I want to know whether you're going to hide behind some stupid fucking scruples or if you might be useful for more unconventional work. Hmm. I don't really like where this is going, but go on, tell me, tell me some more. I was prepared for just about anything, but that's a bit much. But go on, tell me more. Listen, it's about this ring my mate Wojciech, the Kohelnitz Miller, had his eye on. Trouble is, they buried the ring by the gibbet along with the villain they hung while he was wearing it. Jesus Christ, you want me to dig up a corpse, take a ring from it, and give it to your friend in Kohelnitz? There's nothing sacred to you. Money first, morals later. That fellow is dead. He won't miss it. Whatever bleeding heart came up with the idea that it's disrespectful to disturb a corpse never read the Bible. It's still a human body, only it's missing a soul. Why be disgusted by something created by God? Ugh. Go on, then. I think I've already heard more than I need to know. You've got the tongue of the devil himself. If you tried hard enough, I bet you could justify sodomy with a goat. Watch your mouth, boy. There's a shovel here around the mill somewhere. If there's any problem, come and see me. And here's something on the side to make you dig better. Thanks. I'll need it. I can't believe I've come to this. Digging up corpses. Oh, and uh, watch out for the executioner and his hounds. They're pretty savage. And I don't just mean the dogs. You can just throw them some meat. The dogs, that is. But the executioner? Well, don't vex him. God be with you. Great. Is that what's, that's what my life's become. I've got to dig up corpses. Right, so there's a... There's a spear around here, did he say? Oh, there's a, where's your spear? I can't believe I'm doing this. Where's your spear? Where did you leave this spear that you you said you had? There's a spear around here somewhere. If I was a spear, where would I be? Uh, 
What have we left it over there? Is it in here? Nope. Can you give me some clues? Am I getting warmer? Where the heck's your spade? You've got a spade somewhere. I think it's going to be harder to find the spade than it is to actually dig something up. Where the heck is this spade? Where did you put the spade? Seriously, dude, where did you put the spade? Oh, there it is. Duh. It's right in front of me. Right. One spade coming up. Ooh. I'm getting close to being overweight again. Uh, Teresa. Have you eaten yet? Mm, yeah, very, very nice. nice. It was very good. Did you bake it yourself? I did. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Uh, okay. So, I need to go and dig up a corpse, apparently, for him. Oh, wow. Hang on a minute, hang on a minute. Hang on. What's that? Sabago. Oh, where, where, well, where am I? That's Skelets. That's Talmberg. So. So. Okay, so I'm assuming this is me around here, and I've got to get over to. There. Wherever there is. Because that's. That's a big castle. So it would seem appropriate. There's a quest giver there. So let's see. So. Are we down here somewhere? Oh, hang on. There's a miller. Alright, oh, so we know of the miller here. And I need to get to there, which means I need to follow that across the across the, uh, the river there. Head down there to the air. Uh, ooh, struth. We're going on foot. We're going on foot? Oh no, the horse. I don't have a horse anymore. Um. Rats. Let's see, where are... Right, so if we head out here... Let's head over to here. Oh wow. Still a bit athletic considering what we've been through. Alright, hang on, hang on. Am I losing my plot? Ah, uh, now I'm going back way, aren't I? What's the bets I'm going that way? I need to double back on myself. Okay, let's go. Because the castle's on my left. Yeah, so I need to... Ugh. I think I'm going to lose it. Oh, man. I'll tell you what, let's go and see Sir Radzik. Maybe we can sell some of this junk off first. That might be the best thing. Because I've got a lot of items I can sell. I'm assuming there's somebody... Well, there's, there's got to be somebody who's going to buy them. Let's go have a wander down here. So that's the millers over there. So what's this over here then? A lot of tents. Huh. Oh, that sounded like my stomach. I definitely need something more to eat. Uh, have 27. What about a cabbage? I love a cabbage. 43. We'll have another cabbage. In fact, I'm feeling so generous I'll have another cabbage. And, oh, we can't have that. Cheese. Cheese drains your energy. Uh, food. Oh, we're out of roast duck. Oh, it drains your energy. I'll have an apple. And another one. And another one. Right. So I need, I need a lot of energy. Actually, that's a thought. What can I do to get energy? So that, so that's good for healing. It's good for nourishment, but it drains your energy. Okay. So that gives you quite a bit of nourishment, health, and energy. 
Okay. So wine would be tempting, but it's um drains your energy as well. So what is this place here? Because there's some little white tents in it. Ooh. We can sit down. Oh, that'd be cool. Just sit down here and while away the hours. I was actually trying to pick up what I think it was the, the thistles. There you go. I feel obliged to pick things up. So what's this place then? Oh, bats! Hello ladies! You look familiar. Good God! What happened to your clothes? If you were robbed, you should report it. Well, I was beaten up actually, but never mind. Um. Ooh, hello. Cumans. Uh, so how are you doing? And what's life like here? Then? What's life like in Ratai? Life is good here. Even better if them damn refugees would only vanish. Oh. And um, okay. What kind of governor is Sir Hannes? Sir Hanush is a good lord. Things won't be the same when that wastrel Sir Hans takes over. That will be a sorry day. Okay. How do the Ratai folk get on with the refugees? Well, they have it tough, no doubt. But there's not enough room for them here. How much longer will they be living on our streets? Nothing good will come of this. What if one of them's brought the play with him? Okay, that's a bit... Well, yeah, okay, fair enough. Have you heard anything about the Cumans in Sigismund's army? Don't talk to me about that fucking rabble. A soldier was saying in the alehouse them barbarians impale people on spikes, rape women. They hold nothing sacred. The filthy heathens. Ooh, okay. That's bad. May the Lord watch over you. Uh, hello. Good afternoon. Good afternoon to you too. Uh, Have you heard anything about the Cumans in Sigismund's army? Terrible things. Horrible. I Quite. hear they skin people alive and what they do to the women folk. Better take your own life than fall into their hands. Beasts they are. Animals. Yeah, that's not good. How do the Ratai folk get on with the refugees? Ugh, don't even talk to me about it. I wish that rebel was gone. I know they've met with misfortune, but here they do nothing but thief and make problems. Oh, okay. What's life like in Ratai? Good. Or it was. Till them refugees came. Still, we're better off here than most places. Fair What kind of governor is Sir Hannes? He's strict. But just, thank God for him, he don't get mixed up in nothing like that Sir Radzik, so you don't see no one attacking us. Hmm, okay. Interesting. Well, well, thanks for your time. You. Uh, oh, you're the proprietor. Greetings. What do you need? Hmm. What's life like in Ratai? Life is good here. By God's mercy, the war's passed us by so far. There's nothing but them refugees to disturb the peace. Have you heard anything about the Cumans in Sigismund's army? I don't know if it's just old wives' tales, but I heard truly terrible things. Hmm, okay. Well, that's not good at all. Right, oh, you've got bathhouse services. Ooh, now that could be useful. I'm interested in your... I'm in a mess. Uh services so what are you interested in um well i'm in an absolute mess Ooh. Ooh, tempting um well, that could be useful proper bath and my clothes need washing that can be arranged but you'll pay in advance mm, that's a thought actually how much money have i got can't remember i'm not giving you that much and how much are you willing to pay? Oh, it's ten. Oh, I've got. Hey, I forgot I've got so much money. Oh wow, 
Um, tell you what. How about a pith Badamo? What about this? Come now. Just a little what? more, and we have a deal. So in other words, you don't want this. Fair enough. You won't regret spending the money. I guarantee it. God bless. Okay, so hopefully we're looking a, a lot cleaner then. I don't want to go walking around looking like a total scruff. Especially if I'm going to go and see this Saradzik. Well, to be honest, I don't think he'd be overly impressed since I've lost his sword anyway, to be fair. Uh, so there's something up there. Now, Alright, so yes, I was on the right track because I think, yeah, oh, yeah, I must have been heading out there then. So, instead of taking a left, I should take a right and go that way. I'm not seeing an easy way that way. So, I keep coming up here, so he's down in the bottom right. Okay. Oh, this is a big castle. Oh, big walls, that's for certain. Which is something a castle should have, to be fair. Oh, we're getting worn out already. Yeah, that looks familiar. All the fields outside. Hmm. Ooh. Do I need a secret password to get in? Or can I just walk through? Uh. Oh. Halt! Who are you and where are you going? I'm Henry. Son of the Scalitz blacksmith. I'm going to see my liege, Sir Radzik Kabila of Dvoyets. Of course you are, lad. And I'm the Pope. What do you want from his lordship? And what makes you think he'll see you? Ah, well. That is a good question. Um, yeah. Uh, well, I don't want to bribe him. Ah, let's just tell him the truth. I need to, well, I need to bring the bad news and probably get thrown in jail. I may not look the part. But I know about honour and duty. And mine is to tell Sir Radzik what happened to the sword he commissioned. All right, then. Go ahead. It'll be your skin if Sir Radzik isn't pleased. Well, he's hardly going to be pleased now, is he, quite frankly? I mean, I wouldn't be. I'd be, I'd be pretty livid, quite frankly. Okay, some people living over here. Hello? How? What are you doing here? I took you for dead. Oh. Well, that's a long story. What about you? How did you get out of Scalitz? You wouldn't believe it. A frightful storm broke that night and Sigismund's heathens ran back to their camp. They never dreamed Sir Radzik would use the storm as cover for our escape. The entire village slipped away as quiet as mice while no one watched. In the morning, when those bandits attacked, all they found was an empty castle with an old goat inside. I wish I could have seen their faces. <laughs> so do I. You tripped them nicely. See you later. Oh, okay, so this is what's become of people from Scalitz, the, the begging. Oh, oh Stru. Yeah. Yeah, he's down in the right. Well, so that's a camp, okay. Well, these are nice horses. Can I have one? Well, that's a Radzik's horse. Oh. Could that be the smith's son, Hal? On oh. my soul. It is him. What are you doing here, lad? We thought you were done for. Uh, oh, yeah, well, uh, I got beaten up. Bandits attacked me in Scalitz. And why, for God's sake, did you go back there? Who else but cutthroats and bandits did you expect to find? I needed to bury my parents. Oh, I see. Your father fought like a lion. I'm sorry. He saved my life. And not just yours. He was a good man, and you did right to bury him. I didn't even manage that. I failed to save him or put him to rest. And just what could you have done at Scalitz? If you tried to fight, the both of you would be dead. He gave his life for yours, Hal. So you'd better make good use of it. You're right. And just what are you doing here? Yeah, he makes a fair point. Well, I need to go and see Sir Radzik and hopefully not end up in jail for the rest of my life. I must speak with Sir Radzik. Is he here? He's in the palace with Sir Hanush of Ratai. They're feasting in the knight's hall. 
What do you want with it? My father made him a sword. He, um, he asked me to deliver it to Sir Radzig. I don't see any sword. No. Yeah. Bandits attacked me and stole it. I need to tell his lordship what happened. And then I'm going to find the sword. Of course you are, Hal. Good luck. Thanks. Uh, somehow I don't think this is going to go down well. Well, that's good. I mean, these... I don't recognise these guards because they were standing outside. Uh, the castle one got invaded, so... Looks like I need to come in here. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. So that's... Uh, seriously? We've got no privacy here. Well, actually... Could be for other purposes. I'm just making assumptions, but I think that's what it's for. They say sit, but I can think of something else. Okay, not you. Sorry, just sorry to disturb you there. Um, hello? Oh no, no, oh, that's a uh, that's a uh, kitchen. Yeah, it looks like a kitchen. Is he in it? Sorry, sorry, sorry. This is somebody's room. What okay. the hell are you fooling about here for? Be is something the matter? Keep your shirt on. Uh, I don't know. Some people take it far too personally. That right? Is it in here? Do I need to be in here? Oh, your graces, I have to tell you in all seriousness that this land of ours is in the shit, deep fucking shit. Don't you agree? I might not have put it as eloquently as you, Hanush, but I've been driven out of my own castle, so I'm hardly going to disagree. Indeed. But Pirkstein is yours for as long as you need it. There's room enough for your men and you here at Ratte, and I'm sure my ward won't have any objection to me lending you his castle. I'd be honored. Pirkstein is at your disposal as long as you wish, Your Grace. Just as well you have another castle at the other end of town, eh? <laughs> Uh, at any rate, I'm beholden to you, Sir Hans, and to you, Sir Hanosh. I don't like to speak ill of your people, Sir Radzik, but, well, there's no love lost between the townsfolk and the refugees. There's been talk of criminality. No, well, they'll have to get used to it until the situation's resolved. But when will it be resolved? And what on God's earth is this war even about? I won't lie, sir. I don't understand it. You aren't alone, Father. I believe Sigismund's original intention was to persuade Wenceslas to accept the Imperial crown and to leave the rule of Bohemia to him. Well, who could blame him? I know Wenceslas is a friend of yours, Radzig, but even you have to admit he brought it upon himself. I can't deny the King neglected affairs of state for other pursuits. There is a need for order in the land, but I don't think the lords who sided with Sigismund realize just what Hungarian order looks like. <laughs> Hungarian order. <laughs> what concerns me, sir, is how a good Christian could resort to such brutality. To give him his due, I don't think he expected the lords of this country to stand behind the king. But thanks to him, we're tearing ourselves apart, and now he has to get things under control. But why in God's name does he have to use those barbarians? Money is the root of all evil, young sir. Wars are costly, and this one has dragged on for a year. Sigismund ran out of coin for knights, so he recruited those whore sons that settled in Hungary. The less he pays, the more they make up for it with plunder. That's why he attacked us. He was after our silver. What are you doing? You have no business here. Clear off. Wait, it's Henry. Henry, who disappeared after I clearly ordered him to remain at Taunberg. <clears throat> I'm sorry, sir, but I had to bury my parents. And who? Do you think you were the only man who lost someone there? But the others listened to their lord. And it wasn't just your own life you nearly threw away. So Robard and his men risked theirs to save you. I'm sorry, but I had to. No, oh, there you go. When you have to, you have to, Radzik. <laughs> your father was a remarkable man. And your mother, she was remarkable too. They deserved a Christian burial. Did you manage that at least? No. I was attacked by thieves. I wouldn't be here now if it wasn't for that girl. Girl? 
The Miller's daughter, Teresa. <laughs> the Miller's daughter saved you from the footpads? Well, there's a tale to tell your children. I owe her my life. She distracted them and then brought me to Ratai. But without a robot, we'd both be dead. Oh, that's what I call a good woman. Hang on to that one, lad. Still, it's a great shame your parents are buried in unconsecrated ground. That means purgatory for them. Be quiet, friar. I didn't invite you here to eat me out of house and home and deliver a sermon while you were doing it. If you're so concerned, Father, maybe you should save the innocent souls of these fine Christians yourself. Mm. Go to Scalitz and consecrate their graves. I assure you, if you're killed by bandits, your soul will soar straight to heaven. As long as someone buries you in consecrated ground first. If there's anything left to bury, that plump carcass of yours would be quite a feast for the wolves and the crows. And one skeleton looks much like another, so how would we know which were your ordained bones or those of Sigismund's Tartars? Be that as it may, why have you come here? I must get your sword back. Sword? My sword hangs here at my side. No, the sword my father forged for you. One of those thieves stole it from me. They almost killed him and he already wants to go back. Takes after his father, I suppose. Lad. I've lost a castle, a village, silver mines, and a good half of my subjects. Why would I miss one sword? Because it's the last one my father forged, and I promised him I'd deliver it to you. I understand. I'd feel the same way. But prudence is the better part of valor, and a dead man keeps no promises. Aye. The woman had to save his fat from the fire, and now he wants revenge. What kind of fool are you, boy? He's no fool. Henry, you have courage. But you need training, arms, a horse. Or do you mean to beat this thief at dice? No, sir. Please, take me into your service and give me the chance to learn these things. The gall of him. Fled from the enemy, disobeyed your orders, duped Sir Divish, lost your sword, put Sir Robard in danger with his actions, and now he wants a promotion. Sir Capon's right. What you say is certainly true, except for fleeing the enemy. You would have run as well, believe me. Henry's earned some punishment, but how do you punish someone who's already lost everything, hmm? Courage and blind obedience are good qualities for a soldier, but a wise man also appreciates loyalty, perseverance, and determination. Besides, that was a fine sword that his father made. If he thinks he can get it back, I won't turn it down. My lord, he's a peasant. You can't make a squire of a peasant. Why not? Someone made a priest of a pig. <laughs> he isn't a peasant, father. He's a blacksmith. And recent events have left me in need of his skills. So, you'd like to enter my service? Yes, yes. So, I... Yes, I would. You won't regret it. <laughs> oh, I probably will. I'm doing this for your father, lad. Don't it disappoint me. Oh, fortune has finally smiled on you today, lad. Make the most of it. Now that I think about it, Sir Hanush, the boy needs training and experience, and you need spear carriers. That's true. The bailiff is always complaining about your people making trouble in the camp. Maybe one of their own among the guard might help. It might. In any event, it will prove valuable experience. <laughs> but let's be clear, you're the one paying him. <laughs> oh, my head. Captain Ooh. Bernard, see to his training, and then send him to the bailiff. Yes, sir. Ooh. And don't spare him. Ooh. I'm gonna rely on it, sir. Don't forget, Henry. Don't disappoint me. I won't, my lord. Well, that's a good start. I'm, I, I thought they were gonna throw me in jail, quite frankly, but, you know. Uh... Well, he didn't seem... Is that who I think it is? Master no, it's somebody else. Did it? Sorry, I thought it was somebody else. He did not look uh, too cheerful or happy about me. Was it Bernard, I think it was? Um, train. Yeah, so we need to go and get some training from Captain Bernard. So I still need to go and dig somebody up. 
over there we need to get training over there okay so there's there's a quest tip step oh a quest tip step so these must be the refugees from skeletons then you there come here a moment i'll be with you and you what are you hanging around for do you have any work to do no i don't Sigismund's marauders took everything I had and reduced me to beggary. No. What's it about? Since I lost everything, I've been doing whatever I could to survive. No, oh dear. Only I got caught with my hand in someone else's pocket. And since then, I can't even set foot on the square without the catchpoles pouncing on me. So you're a pickpocket? All right, get to the point. But keep your hands where I can see them. My honestly begged oh, Russian were taken from me by that bastard of a guard, Pazdera. He claimed I stole them and took them for himself, the swine. Well, if you can get them from his pocket back into mine, where they rightfully belong, I'll give you a share and teach you a handy trick too. What do you say? I just gotta believe it. Hmm. I don't know, but trouble is if he's right. I mean, that's. So that's just not it's just not on, I mean that's right. Well, let's we'll see what I can do. Right. I reckon I can manage that. How much coin are we talking about? Everything he has on him. Half is yours. Hmm. It all sounds a bit fishy. Well, take it or leave it. But if you get my money back from Pazdera the Guard, I'm sure I can put some more work your way. Hmm. I get the distinct impression he's just a uh, plain thief, and I'm getting duped. <laughs> Probably. Oh God, dreadful it was. You don't say. Uh, blue. Greetings. What do you need? Uh, yeah. How's life for you? What's life like in Ratai? This is a manorial town, and our lord hasn't got himself tangled up in affairs of state. So it's peaceful here. Okay. Okay. Have you heard anything about the Cumans in Sigismund's army? Everywhere they go, they pillage, rape, and slaughter. Or so the tales have it. Of course, all armies do that. But then barbarians take pleasure in it. Oh, that's what sets them apart, is it? Goodbye. What am I to do? A, a poor wretch whose home was burned to ashes by Sig... Jesus Christ be praised. Indeed, yeah. Uh, okay. Did you find out what actually happened? They say Sigismund is at war with the Czech lords and abducted the king. And our lord sides with Wenceslas. Okay. How does life in Ratai suit you? Them Ratai folk would rather drive us out of here. I mean, they won't give us no work and they won't let us beg. So what are we supposed to do? Fucking war. Well, that, May the lord watch over that you. sounds brutal. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Bit of a pickle, really. You can't. Uh, um. Hello. Oh, you're a trader. Good day to you. What do you need? I don't know. It depends what you sell. You Except you're not selling anything. Good okay. Luck. Fair enough. Oh, Kunesh. I see you survived. Aren't you observant? Oh. Uh, I'm not going there. Really not going there. A weapon smith. Oh, oh, oh no. I think it was armor that I need to get rid of. I've already had a shower. Uh, a shower? <laughs> yeah, that, that would be useful. I mean, it's raining, yeah. Mm, hello? No, 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 no. Baron. With salt, Jesus Christ be praised. Garlic and more. Find it okay, so you can't tell me anything new either, can you? Aren't they so there's traders here to sell things. Oh, an artisan. What can you tell me? Anything good useful? You. And a good day to you too. Uh, how are you What's doing? life like in Ratai? Good. Or it was till them uh. refugees came. Still, we're better off here than most places. Good people, come up close and have a smell. How do the Ratai fresh folk bread. get on with the refugees? And pour yourself a bit <laughs> of fresh milk Don't to even drink. talk to me about it. I wish that rabble was gone. I know they've met with misfortune, but here they do nothing but thieve and make problems. Have you heard anything about the Cumans in Sigismund's army? 
Terrible things. Horrible. I hear they skin fresh people from the oven. and Come what and they do them. to the women folk. Better take your own life than fall into their hands. Beasts they are. Animals. Okay, so I'm starting to detect a bit of a common theme here. What kind of governor is Sir Hanesh? He's strict, but just. Thank God for him. He don't get mixed up in Bread. nothing like that Saratic, so you don't see no one attacking us. And pretzels. Hmm. Farewell. Fresh bread, come and get it. Man cannot live by bread alone, but he can't live without it either. Okay. Um, nice to know. So let's see. So what's this? Oh, there's an armor here. So maybe, just maybe, we might be able to sell some things. I'm sure I had some bits and bobs on me. Hello. Jesus Christ, be praised. Indeed. Uh, oh, you do training. What do you do training in? Repairs. Ooh. Can you show me how to repair armor and weapons better? Certainly. Uh, how about begin level? I'd like to practice the basics. All right, but it'll cost you. Uh, <coughs> um, um, some other time, thanks Maybe very much. Maybe another time. Um. See what I can sell you some of this junk. I mean, wonderful pro produce products that I've got. Uh, right, so we'll add that to the basket, and that one, that one, and that one. Oh, hang, on a minute, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, not that one, that one. So that's a light one versus two, four, eight, two, three, six. We'll get rid of that. Oh, boots. One, 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 working boots, one, one. Oh, that's a thought, actually, old oh, boots. So they make a lot of noise. So they're, yeah, okay, well, let's get rid of them then. So these, hang on a bit. I'm sure I picked these for a better reason. So they're better for charisma. But they don't make as much noise. I think I'll keep hold of them. I don't have much into. Oh, ooh, yeah, I don't have anything else here. We'll buy them. Okay, well, let's uh, see if we can haggle this one. Can we do something about the price? Well, we can try it. Okay, let's see if I can get a better deal. Uh, how about you give me. That now. What about this? We're getting there. Oh. Just drop the price a bit more. Well, that's not too bad. I knew we'd come to an arrangement. Cool. So we've got our reputation. Oh, what is that? A tailor did this. There's a tailor around here somewhere. In your regard. Okay, so there's a tailor. Oh, there's an alchemy bench, so. Taylor, but it's locked. Oh, yeah, it's late at night. And there's a scribe, so there's a tailor around here. Oh, I can't, I can't zoom in, so there's a tailor around here. Some, well, that's the tailor. There's a scribe around here somewhere. An apothecary. I'm assuming that is here. Yeah, so there's somebody who probably buy and sell herbs or weeds or whatever we want to call them. Uh, Gilly-dokly. I'm sure it said something about a... Uh... Oh, uh, hello. Oh, start alchemy. Okay. Alright, what is that? You've got to start reading the book. Okay. Uh... Right, so. Oh, that's going to be a bit of a problem because I can't read. Right, 
Right, well, I'm pretty sure that's Nettle and Belladonna. And that's all I know. So I know how to make... What's that? Save your schnapps. I need to learn to read. I can't read. <laughs> well, I think that's a bit of a dead giveaway. I need, I need to learn to read. I can't read. Let's have at least have one. No, we'll just just have a look around. So this is the church. Oh, there's people begging at the church. Why wouldn't they? Hello, hello, hello. Oh, Vincent. My respects to you. Uh, Did you find out what actually happened? Folks say it was on account of our silver and how Sir Ratzik sides with the mm. king. How does yeah. life in Ratai suit you? Well, I suppose it was kind of them to take us in, but then they just left us to fend for ourselves. Nobody gives a damn about us. Hmm. God be so everybody's just been dumped here, but there's no way to earn a living. How on earth are you supposed to get through? You know, through life, if all you can do is you just get dumped somewhere. We're not going to earn a living. Oh no, what's this? So this is the butchers. I'm assuming that's a butcher. Or is that the butcher? This is the butcher's shop. Oh, it's locked. <laughs> right, so... Could be someone's... Oh, a trader. Oh yeah, right. Okay, so there's... So this is a trader, but it's locked for the night. Anything over here? A grocer. Alright, okay, so you're the grocer. We are a shop guard. Okay, so there's a grocer over there, a trader over there. There's a big puddle that I'm walking through. Possibly private houses. Oh! Hang on, okay, okay, okay. Get my torch out. Uh huh. Oh, there's a baker here. So this is the baker's house, uh, shop. Oh, okay. What is this called? Yes, I mean I've got quite a bit of money, but those people are begging on the streets, or at least those of them that can. This is a tavern. Okay. That's somebody else's house down there? Possibly. Not seeing any signs. What about up here? A huntsman. Ooh. I'm assuming the huntsman hunts things. Except they've probably gone to bed. Hmm. Seeing anything up here, I think these are just houses. There's a nest. Where's the nest? Oh, there's some nest. Oh, there's a nest up there. A church. Hang on, I thought there was a church down there. Oh, there's a church up here as well. Oh, okay. Fair enough. All right, then. Come over after work. I will indeed. More people begging on the streets. Anything? Oh, a cobbler. So there's a cobbler. Oh. Probably do it. Get my shoes fixed. Okay. So is this the other castle that they were talking about? Another tavern. Fair enough. More people groveling in the streets. Uh Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. So there's a quest tipster up there. Training. So I need to come up here for some training. I need to be fair, it's past nine o'clock. Uh, Alright, so that must be the other castle. So we've come out one. We must have come out here. And then go in there. Oh, 
Okay. Well, I'm looking for Bernard because I need some training. So there's a combat area. Captain and Bernard's not here. I should stop by during the day. Okay. Can we have like a pretend fight with ourselves? Uh, no, obviously. Oh, these puppies. Yeah. Ooh. What was that? Was a uh, oh, getting a perk. Cynic. Ugh. Mm, I don't think that would be good. Uh, it's like you get some things better, but it mucks up something else, which could suck. Uh, trouble is, if I get better, and I end up with like really nice beds. It's gonna suck. I end up sleeping on the floor. Now that actually could be good. Well, I haven't ended up in jail, but that could be good. So there's only there's still a few sort of things to go. I mean, I think that one there will actually be better. I mean, it doesn't seem to be any pe uh, penalties. It doesn't say them. Whereas if you like that one, it says, so if I sleep in a really crappy bed, I'll actually sleep better. But on the other hand, if I sleep in a comfy bed, I won't get uh, as much sleep probably, but that one, there doesn't seem to be a penalty to that one. It says I can actually have, actually that's a thought. It says I can have two. A burger. Alright, okay, so there's a burger. So that one's your better in towns and villages. That one, so that's why I can only have either one. First aid would definitely be good. Brute. Okay, so there's some we can have, but we can't have all of them because they contradict each other. Hmm, okay. Oh, we've got a perk and strength. Oh, well, that's if you carry stronghold, yes. I think I'll wait, wait for something else on that one, I think. Uh, anything else? Speech? Final offer. Ah, right, so we can either, you can either be high, go with highborn or lowborn. So, trouble is, I don't know how, I don't know it's like if I'm going to be speaking more to the, like the wealthy or the, or the low. Or... Um, well, that's a bit of a doozy, that one. I'll have to think about it. So, we're going to have to come back here during the day. Just fair enough. I think I'm probably after just going to go to bed. Anything interesting up here? Because I really need a trainer. If I'm going to start going out into the wilds, I need to know how to use a sword. It didn't take much for that. Mind to be honest, I'm probably I was probably up against like a professional soldier who just beat the living daylights out of me with a big stick. Oh, this looks like another tavern. Oh, it's an inn. Oh, get a dokely. Oh, you can get lodgings here. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, it says I need some sleep. Okay, so what time is it then? It's, it's getting for about 10 o'clock. And I'm starting to get tired, so I better... I think I'm just going to go back to the mill and get some sleep. Yeah, find something else to do tomorrow. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs>